Welcome. My name is Stephen Gerard M. Serrano. I am from Grade 7 MICA and this is my project in ICT. Today we are going to talk about one of the most successful entrepreneurs here in the Philippines. That would be Tony Tan Kakpiong. He is known as the founder and chairman of Jollibee Foods Corporation and also the co-chairman of Double Dragon Properties. He was born in January 5, 1953 at Double Sur. He was married to Grace Tan Kak Piong and his son is Carl Tan Kak Piong. Also, his net worth is 2 billion US dollars this present year. So, ang pag-uusapan natin sa ngayon ay ang isa sa mga pinaka-successful na entrepreneurs dito sa Pilipinas. Ito ay walang iba kundi si Tony Tan Kak Piong. Siya ay ang founder at ang chairman ng Jollibee Foods Corporation at ang co-chairman ng Double Dragon Properties. So, katulog nga ng sinasabi dito, siya ay pinanganak noong January 5, 1953 sa Double the Sur. So, ang naging asawa niya ay si um, Grace Tan Kakpiong at ang kanilang anak ay si Carl Tan Kakpiong. So, ang network niya daw, network niya daw, niya daw sa ngayon ay 2 billion US dollars. So, kung mapapansin natin, siya nga ang founder ng Jollibee, which is isa sa mga pinaka-popular na food chains dito sa Pilipinas. So, let's start. There he is. That is Tony Tan Kakyong. So, kung makikita nga naman natin dito ay ang picture ni Tony Tan Kakyong. So, for today, we're gonna talk about his story first. He was born to a family of Chinese immigrants originally from Fujian. So, talagang nanggaling daw siya. So, may ano siyang ano, Chinese kasi yung mga, yung pamilya niya daw is mga Chinese immigrants na lumipat dito sa Pilipinas. He did his high school at Chiang Kai-shek College and tanong sa degree in chemical engineering from the University of Santo Tomas. Long before, Tan was already involved in the family restaurant business from an early age. So, may kita natin dito, siya daw ay nag-high school sa Chiang Kai-shek College at kumuha ng degree ng chemical engineering sa University ng Santo Tomas. Siya ay, na in ay na-involved na daw talaga sa early age na pa lang pagdating sa family restaurant business. Talking about his career. So, dadako na tayo sa naging career niya. Tan started his career with a small ice cream parlor, Jollibee, at the age of 22. He expanded his business by adding dishes such as french fries, fried chicken, and hamburgers. Tan bought the franchise of the Bognolia Dairy Ice Cream and opened a couple of ice cream parlors. He added sandwiches and hot meals to the menu on the popular demands of his customers. So, nung 22 daw siya, is dun niya stinard ang Jollibee. So, nung nauna pa lang daw, ay ang Jollibee pa lang daw ay isang ice cream parlor. Nung in-expand niya ito, ay nag-add na siya ng dishes, katulad ng french fries, fried chicken, at mga hamburgers na alam natin ngayon. Yun nga yung mga sa Jolly Fries, yung Chicken Joy, at yung hamburger. Binili niya rin daw nun ang, ang franchise ng Magnolia Dairy Ice Cream, at ah, uh, nagbukas pa ng iba pang mga ice cream parlors. Nag-add pa daw siya ng mga sandwiches at ng mga hot meals sa menu kung saan ito daw ay ang popular demands ng mga customer niya. Getting it. So, ayan. Dadako na tayo dito. Tan founded Jollibee in the year 1978. Three years after establishing an ice cream parlor. So, nag Start talaga siya mag-establish ng ice cream parlor noong 1975. Tapos noon, nai pagsapit noon, 3 years after, um, yun nga, yung 1978 na, hindi doon niya binuo ang Jollibee. He acquired the Greenwich Pizza Corp, entering the pizza and pasta food market. So, in acquire niya rin daw yung Greenwich Pizza Corp, na isa din sa mga 
um, restaurants dito sa Pilipinas. Jollibee Foods Corp. bought the remaining shares of Greenwich Pizza Corporation in year 2006 and became a 20% stakeholder. So, binili din daw nun ng Jollibee Foods Corporation ang remaining shares ng Greenwich Pizza Corporation noong 2006 at naging isang 20% stakeholder. So, he bought out the share is partner Greenwich for cash amount of 384 million pesos. So, binili niya daw nun yung remaining shares ng Greenwich Pizza Corporation na partner niya sa na nagkakahalaga ng 384 million pesos. Under the leadership of Tan, Jollibee has become the most popular cha chain of fast food restaurants in the country. Today, it is one of the leading fast food chains and dominates 50% of the food market. Tan acquired the Yonghe Dawang in 2004 and the Chowking Oriental in 2000. So, under daw sa leadership ni Tan, ay ang Jollibee daw ay isa sa mga naging most popular food chains dito sa ating bansa. At isa daw siya sa mga leading fast food chains dito sa Pilipinas at dinodominate niya daw nito ang 50% ng food market. in daw ni Tan noon ang Yonghe Award noong 2004 at ang Chowking Oriental noong 2000. So, what actually made him successful today? Ano nga ba, paano nga ba naging successful pagdating sa business si Tony Tan Kaktiyong? So, let's find that out. There is always an answer to that. So, eto na. McDonald's came into the picture not many years later, but they failed to take over Jollibee's popularity as, according to Kaktiyong, they don't know the local food culture. Filipinos have a sweet taste on food, so Jollibee decided to serve spaghetti with a sweeter flavor. Filipinos like to smell everything they eat, which is the reason behind the Langhap Sarap tagline they have been using for a while now. So, um, noong daw, ay dum umano din dito sa Pilipinas ang McDonald's. Pero, ang franchise ng McDonald's dito sa Pilipinas ay na -feel dahil nga sa kasikatan ng Jollibee at according daw kay Kaktiyong eh hindi daw ano ng ja McDonald's ang ano ng mga Pilipino pagdating sa pagkain so talagang tinarget ni Tony Tan Kaktiyong ang tastes ng mga Pilipino upang makabuo ng isang profitable business so sa ngayon daw ay nagi isa din sa mga sikat na taglines sa mga commercials yun nga yung langhap sarap which is nakikita natin madala sa mga Jollibee commercials halimbawa sa burger steak commercial pati yung sayang burger as years go by the Jollibee group grew bigger Kaktiyong partnered up and established a couple other food chains including Chow King, Red Ribbon, Greenwich and Deli France Aside from bringing Jollibee, Chowking, and Red Ribbon to other countries, they've established new food chains in Thai China and Taiwan which suit the tastes of the people there. So, noon daw, ay binuo din ni, uh, nag-ano din siya ng mga restaurants sa mga ibang bansa in which inaan niya din yung tastes ng mga tao doon. Tsaka daw, nakipag-partner din siya sa Chowking, sa Red Ribbon, Greenwich, Adele France. At yun nga, naging mas malaki pa ang Jollibee Group. As of 2016, Tony Tan Kaktiyong ranked 6 in Forbes Philippines 50 Richest. He was also awarded the Entrepreneur of the Year and the Ernst and Young Entrepreneur of the Year in 2004. So yun nga, na rank As of 2016 daw, ay pang-anin si Tony Tan Kaktiyong sa isa sa mga pinakamayaman na tao dito sa Pilipinas. So, talagang ang yaman niya nga, ba? Diba? So, yun nga, dito sa ko na ito, ay pinapakita nga, yung if you dream big and put your dreams into action, you'll indefinitely make mistakes. 
But don't be scared to make mistakes. Just be quick to recognize them and learn from them as fast as you can. So yun nga ang sinabi ni Tony Tan Kak Tiong. Na huwag tayong susuko kahit ano man ang umano sa buhay natin. So talaga, pag repurposal tayo ng mga dreams natin is talagang magkakaroon tayo ng mga mistakes. So huwag tayong paano doon. So just keep moving forward and learn from our from mistakes as fast as we can. So, yun ang ibig sabihin ni Tony Tan Kak Yong sa da, at isa din sa mga dahilan kung, kung bakit siya ay isa sa mga successful na entrepreneurs sa ngayon. And also, what is this so-called entrepreneurial competencies? So, let's go check it out. Entrepreneurial competencies. Hmm. Kaya yun. Yun. Like managerial competencies. Entrepreneurial competencies can be defined as underlying characteristics such as generic and specific knowledge, motives, traits, self-images, social roles, and skills which result in venture birth, survival, on, and or growth. So, ang ibig sabihin daw dito, ang entrepreneurial competencies daw ay sa, sa mga kat, kumbaga yung mga characteristics ng isang businessman or entrepreneur nag-include dito ang kanya specific knowledge, motives traits, roles at mga skills na meron ang isang entrepreneur na nagre-resulta din sa growth ng business And what does Tony Tan Kak Tiong has in these characteristics? So, he has some characteristics like perseverance, humility, and is considered as the visionary behind every child's fast food craving Jollibee. So, si Tony Tan Kak Tiong daw ay isang perseverant, humble, at isa, isa siya. At siya ay ang naging visionary ng fast food chain na Jollibee. Which is napasik napakasikat sa ngayon. Yun nga. So that's about it. So yun, yun, yun lang. Hope you liked it. Well, what do you think of this story? Leave a comment down below. So ano ba talaga ang masasabi nyo sa story ni Tony Tan Kak Yong? So mag leave ka lang kayo ng comment down Thanks for watching. And bye.